So guys, uh, morning. <clears throat> so today we'll see about VLAN. So first of all, switching. What is switching? What is switches? What is the work of switch? Okay. Uh, to avoid collision the mic. Okay, and it will broadcast. Okay. First of all, it is a layer two device actually, but we also we have a layer three switches. It will work also as a router. Okay. So uh, switches will works with the frames. Okay. Also with the MAC address. Okay. So first VLAN. So it's a very much important topic uh, in switching also in CCNA. So first of all, what is VLAN? Yesterday I said, right? Virtual LAN network. Yeah, virtual LAN network. So you can see <coughs> virtual LAN network. Name itself, it is there. You know LAN network, right? What are we connecting inside the organization, which we can call as an a LAN network, local area network. So we can divide them with the help of, uh, with the, will be as a virtually, not with, this, with any devices. We are dividing it the virtually. It is called as a virtual LAN. Uh, it means VLAN. Okay, it's a network topology. You can see uh, it's a network topology used logically separate large broadcast domain using a layer two device. Means, for example, large broadcast domain means if we have example, if we have some hundreds of switches. Okay, we have thousands of users. So what happened? Uh, we we can see multiple departments are there in an organization like HR department, finance department, technical department. Even we have multiple projects. So for every projects, we'll have different different teams. So what we'll do is like I uh, as an engineer, I don't want to access the HR. Okay, but all are connected with the switches. HR will department will have some hundreds of people. Uh, the IT department will have some hundreds of people. So no one can want to access each other, but it should be in a broadcast domain. Okay, so that's the reason this this concept is came. Okay, so it's a network topology used to separate large broadcast domains using a layer two device. That's what is layer two device? It's a switch. Okay, initially we used to have half and all. Okay, but now we are using switches. It has and switches will have uh, some switches has of 24 ports, some switches have 48 ports. It depends on the customer requirement. Okay, so next is like device. You can see the what I said now it came uh, divides a single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain. Okay, means within the departments we can do. So that's the reason it is mentioned as it's completely for example 100 ports will have broadcast domain. We divide 54 HR, 54 minutes. Likewise, we are dividing into multiple broadcast domains. Okay, VLAN group interface, uh, VLAN group interfaces to create a smaller broadcast domain. Via interfaces, we create a uh, divide into smaller inter uh, broadcast domain. It's a layer to security. First of all, why we go with VLAN? I said it, we are dividing a broadcast domain. It also like we <coughs> having security, layer to security, layer. Layer two, for layer one we have, we know that we have some security protocols. But layer, uh, sorry, layer three. Uh, in layer two we have security protocol like we are uh, VLAN. The reason is even IT department can't access HR. Even it's in the same broadcast domain, can't access HR because it's divided into multiple, multiple broadcast domains. So it's a security feature. Okay, but by default all the ports of VLAN is configured with VLAN one. So, and one more thing is like there is some range. Uh, VLAN has a range. Uh, we know that AS number we said, right? AS number has a range. Likewise, VLAN has a range. It starts from 0 to 4094, means 2 to the power of 16, I think. Okay. So, uh, it starts, but default VLAN is VLAN 1. Every in switches, if it is a management switch, management switch. First of all, it's in the management switch, not in unmanaged switch. So in management switch, in VLAN 1 is default for all the ports. All the ports are by default configured with VLAN 1. Okay, I will show you that uh, in the switch. I will con uh, log into the switch and I'll show you that one. So, and VLAN 1 is known as an administrative VLAN or management VLAN. The reason is it is a 
by default it is there if you not configuring it vlan with any ports also it is default by default with a vlan name one okay and you can see after the vlan one we can create with our own vlan from starts from 2 to 1001 okay and you can see in a just short brief where the information of vlans are stored so you know uh, vlan uh, other devices will have buffer memory everything will be there ram rom other. but here it's it is also the same thing it's stored in a flash memory but with that extension dot dat database okay vlan dot dat if you delete this file the complete vlan will be deleted from your switch okay vlan information is stored in vlan dot dat on flash memory of the switch got it understood so next week and we'll while we go for a practical so you can understand this clearly okay and benefits or disadvantages for this like improved scalability okay it's very easy and reduced network traffic and higher performance okay network traffic will be reduced for example you know it will start with broadcasting okay for example a uh, hr department sends a request so what will happen it will broadcast to the, all the switches all the departments if uh, if we are dividing into a smaller broadcast domain it will uh, broadcast to only to its department for a certain vlan not to all so what happens the unwanted traffic will be reduced okay and cost reduction cost reduction is why uh, how many pcs and how many what we we need to do it's clearly uh, divides the broadcast okay simplify network management we can manage a complete network so which department what we want to do everything we can do from here okay and we have types of vlan so uh, these things you can understand when we go to the slides okay so these are all the vlan numbers you can see zero is a reserved vlan okay one is by default and usable is 221001 is a vlan and you can go for 102 uh, sorry 1002 1003 1004 1005 these are all the vlans which has an old technologies but nowadays it's not there in use but still if you log into the device and you can check it will be there because it's a reserved for those technologies okay it is not changed still it is there with the same vlan number and you can see that it's an extended vlan so in later part after an advanced uh, switches are came this extended vlans are used but it's a reserved one okay and 4095 is a reserved for like as like a zero it's the last one what it zero to four nine four zero nine five it means four zero nine six vlans we can use yes. got it so next so <clears throat> okay there is something called tagging you know that while there is you guys know in layer two technologies we have frames in layer three it's a packets right so what happened is while sending a frame you can see what is the source mac address it will send guys one minute there is while we sending a pack uh, frames in a layer two technology in layer one it's packets right layer two if you are sending some uh, uh, means what to say frames to one ethernet frames from one to another device so what happens it will send source map destination mac address with uh, what is the length data errors what is there is everything but while we are adding a vlan it will add another tag that's called as a vlan tag so it will put the vlan details over there and it send with the frame okay you understood what it means if if you see normal ethernet frame the vlan tag won't be there but after we used vlan it will add a vlan tag over there and it sent to the destination okay with you can see d mag means destination mac s mag means source mac which uses a six byte of uh mean source and mac and destination mac six byte but if you go for vlan it uses four byte okay and you can see what are there or the vlan id what is the protocol priority uh so these are all there we'll see one by one in next slides so this is called VLAN tagging. So you can see in a theory, VLAN enabled ports are generally categorized into one of two ways, tagged and untagged. Okay, so this is a tagged one. What I showed is tagged one. Some VLANs, it is not tagged with a, uh, we have, for example, we can have two types, trunking and access. 
so trunk we can see now we can understand we'll see in the next place but i will tell you what is tagged and tag so if it is not tagged we can tell we can call it as a native vlan okay it means it, it is not sent with a tag like there are two types of tags uh, in trunking it's a 802.1q and isl that's also we can see the difference and all so now what i'm telling is this is tagging if it is not tagged then it is called as a native vlan okay that we can see in one by one okay there are two types you can see these may also refer to the trunk and access respectively uh, for example these also slides are there but still trunk means for example i having some two three switches okay i have one switch i have we run two uh, three four another switch we have two three four and one switch have three two three guys are walking from hr another from other switch two three guys are uh, working from hr department so what happened is these guys will want to access their details but switches are different so what we do to connecting between we need to connect a, uh, we need to connect between uh, switch 1 and switch 2 via trunk port trunk port that's a trunk port means it allows all the vlans all the vlans means we want to mention which one of the vlans we need to allow to the switch 2 we'll see that one we'll see but if it is access means it's a end device we have only one vlan for example if my pc is if his pc is there it is connected to the switch it is configured with only one vlan that is called access port okay that's we can that we can see the purpose of tagged and or a trunked ports is to pass the traffic of multiple vlans whereas untagged untags or access ports a traffic for only a single vlan that's the same what i said right if it is not tagged then it says it passes only single vlan if it is a tagged then it passes multiple vlan if it is uh, that's what if it is a trunk it means it is tagged but we are not uh, if in trunk ports if it is untagged uh, vlans so that is called as a native vlan okay initially uh, uh, the native vlan is vlan number 1 okay Th that we can see okay you can see there are types of vlan okay data vlan default vlan native vlan management vlan voice vlan actually uh, there are three types but this is this are important uh, few vlans i mentioned data voice and native vlan this uh, these are all very important uh, vlans but here i can mention five that that we can see by a slide by slide okay first of all data vlan what is data vlan <clears throat> this is a main vlan of a virtual network so it is designed to carry defined data first of all for example a com i said you right voip voice over internet protocol so what happened is uh, everything comes in a single cable now voice data everything but data means what we are sending the data for example internet what we are using is a data vlan if it is a connected with a phone it's a voice vlan we are getting voice call right that's a voice vlan uh, yeah, we can tell in organizations we have a voip phone means every desk we have a phone which is connected with our pc if they are the you know the intercom is there right intercom and all there right every uh, engineer or uh, uh, means managers will have a voip phone over next in their desk the reason is it is connected with their user username credential so those are called as a voice vlan it will send data via voice and even data centers right sorry uh, you can know customer care centers so what is they are not using single yeah. able single phones they are also using internet it is connected with their pc, PC. so data are converted to voice vlan so we need to carry uh, the voice vlan separated with the voice are separated with the voice vlan okay this data vlan so data we are using internet everything is comes in data you, you know right in mobile also we have data pack not a voice pack data pack means internet, internet. okay so likewise here it is defined to carry only the data data vlan even i used to work in some organization where uh, uh, data center was there as a network engineer so what happened is um, i need to allow them in a voice vlan we have voice vlan we, we have different vlan number and data we have different vlan number means it is defined by us but it should has a different vlan name number vlan number and name okay we'll see that one so next is link connected to your current computer and it is assigned to a data vlan understood so i covered two things now voice and data 
So next is default VLAN. So what is default VLAN? Initially I said I, all the ports are configured with the default, default VLAN number one. That's called as a default VLAN. That's why if we don't configure any virtual network, your network will be still resides in VLAN, VLAN, one. VLAN one. Understood? So native VLAN, actually uh, it's like one or two, two points are there, but I added multiple points as per my knowledge. So what is like, first of all, this is a most misunderstood type of VLAN because so many can't understand clearly. The reason is it's a special VLAN traffic. Okay, it's in a CCNP syllabus. Okay, it's in a clear way, but I am adding you for this. Uh, might be it might be in your interview question. Okay, so the most interest uh, misunderstood type of VLAN. It's a special VLAN traffic. Wait a minute. It's a special VLAN traffic. Sorry, guys. Okay. It's a special VLAN traffic transverse on 802.1 trunk without any VLAN tag. So what does it mean? Like I said, right, there are two types, trunking and access that we can see next slides and all. So in the trunking, we have two types uh, will be tagged. Uh, one is called ISL, inter switching. We'll see that one in next coming slides with the difference. Oh, another one is 802.1Q, it's an IEEE standard. Okay, ISL is a Cisco proprietary. Okay, so what happened is if we send with a tag without any tag, if a VLAN is sent, it's called as an in a trunk, not an access port. In a trunk, if we send a, a tagged VLAN, untagged VLAN, which is called as a native VLAN. Every time it will be tagged actually. For example, if we configuring a trunk port, we need to mention encapsulation and the whether what type of uh, tagging we are doing. But if we are, if we are sending any VLAN without any tag, which is called as a native VLAN, also we can call as a management VLAN. Also, also, but management VLAN is different. But we can also make this native VLAN as a management VLAN. Okay, management is for management purpose. Okay, we will see that one. So next is like native VLAN supports untagged. Oh, sorry, uh, native VLAN is defined in a 802.1Q. It's a type of trunk. Okay, we'll see that one. Native VLAN supports untagged traffic while inter switch link does not support untagged traffic. The reason is what is I, uh, inter switch link? ISL, I said, right? So the native VLAN supports untagged traffic while ISL does not support untagged traffic. ISL won't support the untagged traffic. Okay, and native VLAN is per switch configuration. For every switch, it uh, one native VLAN is configured. For example, uh, this is a troubleshooting. Uh, if, for example, I connected two switches, one switch we have native VLAN one, and another switch we have native VLAN two. It means it won't communicate. That might be issue. It's an it's an important interview question for CCNP guys. But I'm still I'm telling you. So different native VLAN is configured won't communicate. Same. Yes, it should be a same. Okay. And that's what by default the native VLAN is one, right? And we can also change. That's the next point. By default native VLAN is VLAN one, one. but we can change to any number such as VLAN one and twenty. One, sorry, one twenty, etc. Means we can change to any. One, two, yeah, I mean like thousand, right? Thousand one. We can change up to thousand one. And native VLAN is a VLAN assigned to untagged packets. That's what packets are the right, frames are the right. It is not tagged, okay? And which does which have not yet traveled through the VLAN market ports. So it will not travel to all the ports in different switches. Okay, and native VLAN is useful when we deal with the VoIP. VoIP, voice over internet. Understood? Next, so this is an scenario and example. So how it works. So you can see VLAN 1 is by default. Two users are there. Switch 1, switch 2. V, uh, VLAN 1 is not tagged because it's a default VLAN. So the initial, that's what I say by default. VLAN uh, native VLAN is for VLAN 1. By default, it's a VLAN 1 for native VLAN. For uh, that VLAN 10 and 20 are tagged, that's why it moves both the switches. And by both sides, it's a VLAN 1 is a untagged and, and native VLAN. Okay. 
by default okay you can see by default native vlan uses for the management traffic as well okay management traffic means if you are taking console and all which will happen with the console right console port so via management traffic okay also we can call as a management port next also management vlan same a vlan used for switch management okay managing the switches con uh, configuring everything will be done over the port also to have a control of the port device switch okay and it's a good practice to change it so that differs from default one although sometimes management vlan is set to a to be a native vlan understood so next voice so voice vlan voice vlan this is a special type of vlan used in voice over ip devices this is used this is, the vlan is used to forward the voice traffic understood okay there is something called as an this is also a yeah, uh, important question it we can export for the ccnb guys is not for the renewal syllabus but still i made it uh, when i check my notes it's very helpful for you guys so you can see switch database management when it come to management i want to know what the switch will handle and how we uh, how, how many uh, means a uh, mac address a yes, switch will take actually it's not in a vlan it's a different for topic but isn't only one side i given to you to know uh, how it will work so example you can see l2 switches can learn up to 132 mac addresses okay per port means if you have if it is connected with the port every port learn up to 132 mac address in l2 switch it means it work only as an l2 not as l3 okay and that it is this is a series of there is something called cisco uh, 2950 2960 switches We can also tell this as a 2000 series, series switches, okay. And we can go with the L3 switch. It also work as a router, right? So which can learn up to 6144, okay, MAC addresses per port. And the series is like 3000 series. Understood. And next is like, what is the work of SDM? First of all, I given this an example. But what is the work of SDM? SDM will be available only in L3 switches. You know, L3 works as a router, also as a switch. Okay, so which has a management, which has which has a management, the database management. So that will be available in L3 switch. Okay, and it has different man, different management memory allocation and or templates. Okay, the reason is it has an advanced one. It has different memories to store the uh, this database of a uh, MAC addresses and all. Okay, so next is like this is a command show MAC address table so that you can see the MAC address table. What are the MAC address available in the switch? Understood? Got it? We'll go for next slide. So ah, okay, so we'll come to another topic. I said DTP. You guys, I didn't actually. I, I uh, about to mention the slide and top actually. I forgot to. Be then uh, I will be the next our next slides. There is something called access and trunk. I said right. So this is a dynamic trunking protocol. There is a protocol for trunking. Okay. Uh, what dynamic means? Different trunking. Uh, how the uh, trunking will work and all we can see here. This is actually what is that? This is a Cisco proprietary. First of all, okay. Uh, with the trunking, actually the trunking will happen only between two sw two switches. The reason is. Why we do trunk? Trunk means, for example, there is a train. Okay, it passes through a trunk. Will have multi multiple coaches. It means it can take every coaches as an VLAN. Example, I'm telling every coach as an VLAN. In a trunk, it will uh, the uh, it will shares all the VLANs as like a coaches. Likewise, uh, trunking it will it will share uh, two uh, means uh, the uh, VLAN different VLANs uh, between two switches via trunk. Okay, trunk port. We, we want to configure a port as a trunk on both the end. For example, we need to connect the two switches with the trunk ports, then only to carry the multiple VLANs in that single trunk. Okay, so that's why that's why DTP is used here. 
okay what is that the ddp is a property network protocol developed by cisco for the purpose of negotiating trunk on a single link between two vlan aware switches and for negotiating the type of trunking encapsulation to be used that's what encapsulation we have two types i said right dot dot one q means 802.1q we can also tell us a dot one q and isl okay we'll see that one in next slides so it works on a layer 2 of an osi model what is a layer 2 is a switches right and next can be used used to automatically establish the trunks between capable ports it's not a secured one first of all because the reason is we are sharing all the vlans that's why it is mentioned insecure okay and also one thing is we want to allow the vlans as what we need to allow it won't share all the vlans we need to allow for example 10 to 20 means we need to allow 10 to 20 vlans okay so four modes of vlans okay there are four modes of vlans oh, sorry four modes of ddp okay trunking and all so what, what is that the dynamic trunking protocol was you developed by cisco systems and various switches modes of ddp or ddp means dynamic trunking protocol okay first is access mode you said right means it means ddp is off over there it's not a trunk it won't trunk access means uh, for example this is a pc uh, this is a switch and it's connected with my pc so we have i have only one device so one vlan is enough so for that i don't want trunk but if it is connected with another switch for that it want to share my vlan details to the other one so it will shares multiple vlan details over the trunk so that is called trunk mode ddp is on over there and there is something called dynamic auto and dynamic desirable mode so and it's a non negotiable mode so this thing we can see okay initially the main thing uh, main uh, ones the ma major use of uh, the type what is it trunking type protocols are access and trunk more of is every uh, uh, means everywhere only these two uh, trunks and access okay we will see that on next slide so this is like how we create a vlan and direct we'll see that in lab today itself we can complete it's a very easy one so the vlan we can configure in a switch vlan vlan number and we can give the name of the vlan and for example it's a if it is hr vlan if it is a finance we can give the name and then if you are deleting the vlan delete vlan dot det it means it will delete all the vlans and if you if you delete the vlan also if you are not reloading it still the vlans will be there we do you need to reload the device then we can we can't see the vlan details okay so next access vlan okay so access vlan is a for access port we can change it to the access port to change the port uh, to the access port and with the help of we can share only one vlan okay it's it not trunk you can see a vlan assigned to the end host okay vlan assigned modes uh, sorry vlan access mode assigns switch port to a single vlan does not tag the frame for tagging when it will be done if it is a switch to switch i means to switch to switch means it's a trunk okay so then we can tag if it is not tag means don't then we don't want a multiple vlans okay that's the reason don't do not does not tag the frame without any vlan identifier because it's access port access port don't want tagging but if it is a native vlan we won't tag but but between different switches and trunking will be there okay so vlan trunk again so with the vlan trunking it is possible to extend vlan across the network when implement multiple vlans across the network trunks links are necessary to ensure vlan signals remains properly segregated for each to reach the intended destination so the words might be little hard but still it, i can tell you it's it's very easy why we uh, doing the lab it comes uh, we have multiple switches and multiple vlans are configured in a single switch but it will carry uh, uh, all the vlans to other other switch uh, with the help of the trunk port okay like i say an example right if it is a trunk your trunk will carry all the coaches you can consider all the every coaches as a, a single vlan 
so it will uh, 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 share the vlan details to other uh, uh, what say other switches with the help of the trunk one switch to another with the help of trunk if it is access within the switch okay so this is an example you can see access port so access port means every single port we need to for example vlan uh, for example we can tell switch one has a port number uh, 0/0 and switch to has a 0 slash 0 will carry only one vlan per port but here you can see in a single port if it is configured with the trunk it can send vlan 10 20 30 40 with a single port not with multiple ports and the cost will cost will be decreased the reason is we are not using multiple cables to connect we are using single cable cost optimization over there and we are sending traffic with a single line okay so it will be very flexible for the device and it won't carry much traffic. Understood? So this is a configuration. How we configure? Example initially I said configure terminal. Then VLAN, VLAN 2. 2 we are configuring. Again if it is VLAN 2 configured then we want to go. First of all I want to configure. VLAN 2 means I can give name also. Initially given uh, I configured VLAN 2. What is it? I configured it. That's done. But I'm configuring for an interface. That interface, for example, that interface is used by HR. Means the port is connected to the switch, right? So it is used by HR. That that port should have a HR, HR credentials. So for that interface, GA0 slash 1, switch port, I'm made it an access, not trunk, because it's for a single device. Switch port mode access. Switch port, uh, switch port access VLAN 2, then exit. That's it. Very simple. Okay. For next, if we have trunk configuration, same uh, VLAN uh, configuration terminal VLAN 2. Again, I'm configuring another VLAN. Uh, if it is a uh, gigabit port 0 slash 1, switch port mode, there it is access. Here it is a trunk. Okay. For a switch port, the name itself is a switch port and its mode is trunk. There it's our uh, mode is access. access. Okay, switch port. Then after mode, I want to mention what type of trunking I am doing. So switch port mode. Okay, sorry, switch port. Uh, no, I think no mode is there. Switch port encapsulation dot one q. It's a type. Then another th another type is called ISL. We'll see that one in next slides. What is the work of it? So switch port trunk allowed. What are the type of VLAN you are saying? There only we given uh, switch port access VLAN number. Here switch port trunk allowed which are VLANs? VLAN 2, 10, 20 to 30. It means it will allow all these VLANs. Also we can see switch port trunk native VLAN. It means it is not tagged. Okay, those are tagged VLAN. It's not a tagged VLAN. Understood? So next, what is VTP? Okay, we'll see the term what is, okay. Here uh, uh, I will show you what is 1Q. We can see this is the difference. Trunk types. There are two types. One is 802.1Q, another one is ISL. Okay, header type, it uses only 4 bytes, it uses 626 bytes. That's the reason they are not going with ISL because it carries more bytes. More bytes. Okay, 802.1Q, uh, it supports native VLAN and ISL won't support the native VLAN. Okay, and 802.1Q is a Cisco, uh, sorry, it's an IEEE standard and ISL is a Cisco proprietary. Understood? And how many VLANs you can see? Uh, even it has it is it has four bytes of header size, but it can sense up to 494 VLANs. But if you go for ISL, it has a maximum of thousand VLANs. Then which is the best one? It's a IEEE standard 802.1Q. Understood? Also, we can uh, call this uh, type as a dot one Q. Okay, dot one Q. In short way, you can tell it as a dot one Q. Okay. Now we understand this, right? This difference. Okay. This is a type of encapsulation as well. Okay. We'll see what is encapsulation later. At least I said you what is encapsulation. It will put a packets. For example, you are sending an courier. Example. What will the, for example, if you are getting this Amazon parcel and all, right? What the product you order is inside. Above that, there is a cover they give one, but uh, they don't know what is inside that one. So that is called as an encapsulation. It, it will be closed with a cover encapsulation is a cover inside your data should be in a safer way okay it's sent to the destination only the destination will remove the cover and then you can see 
okay that is called as an encapsulation this is a type of encapsulation okay that's all tagging okay so next is vtp okay that's the reason i first go for this types vtp okay we know that we are sending the trunks okay with the help of modes of dtp and all but we are sending multiple vlans right for that we have different protocol example i can tell you example i have thousands of switches in my big i have big organization i have hundreds of switches so every switch i want to configure what are the vlans i am using it's make a big headache for me so instead i can go for a vtp vlan trunking protocol in a it's a cisco proprietary first of all okay that propagates that defined virtual network on a whole local area so this is this also type where uh, there are some modes actually we can see that one uh, this vtp carries vlan information to all the switches in a vtp domain there is something called vtp domain we'll have in next slides okay and vtp ad advertises it will advertise about what are the type of tagging i have you can see 802.1q is a tagging and iso also is a tagging you know right just now i showed you there are two types of taggings and after that there are three to two types of modes three types of modes actually while if it is shared the information to all the device all the switches so we'll have a three types one is server mode next is a client mode and it's a transparent mode so what is the work of these things we'll see next slide you can see so initially you can see the first one is a server it will be configured the default server mode in a in a switch d to default vtp mode in a switch is a server mode this very much important guys the interview will ask what is the default mode in a uh, mode of vtp in a switch it's a server Sir. mode okay the reason is what 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 we can do in server mode we can create a vlan modify vlan delete vlan and send and forward advertisements means it will send what are the uh, means vlan types i have and it will synchronize synchronize means if if we any new vlan certain different switches it will synchronize with that and it will have the vlan information in this server vlan okay then next we go for client vlan we want to change default vlan is server a uh, vtp is server we want to change it to client mode what is the work we can't create change and delete the vlan over here okay it means uh, server it's like a major role management as like a management here client we can't delete anything okay delete or change or create anything we can't do anything but it can send and forward advertisements okay what are the information i can share for example server sends there is a new vlan added what will happen it will send to client client also send uh, to the other vlan for example we it is connected with another client vtp so it will send to that switch as well okay but it won't create anything okay and it also synchronize from the client as i from the server it can synchronize understood and if you go for a transparent mode what is the work here we can create local vlan inside we can create a vlan inside not in a for whole all the switches okay modify the local vlan delete the local vlan and it forward advertisement but it don't sync don't sync means it won't uh, participate in the server for example server we a server send some vlan pin it won't accept client some some uh, vlan it won't accept it will work internally in the local vlan okay it does not synchronize but it can forward for example if it is created with a new vlan like 100 vlan 100 200 and all in transparent it will send but if it is created in a server vlan for example vlan 10 and 20 it won't receive understood this is a major important uh, advancements uh, modes of uh, vtp it will be used as in your interview questions this is also very important in a easy way i showed you this one with an example okay we'll see this thing okay we'll see this in uh, upcoming slides i mean on a lab we can see okay you guys will get this slide so you can uh, take noting uh, take note taking of note is not required okay so you can see uh, this is how first one is server okay it's a what what is the uh, that uh, the that picture is there right what is the picture it's also a switch but what switch is it? this also is switch second is also switch okay all these are switch but the first one is different right what is the meaning main switch no it's a layer 3 switch 
all, all others are layer 2 switch. This is diagram of layer 3 switch. All others are layer 2 switch. Okay. If layer 2 switch, layer 3 switch is a server switch, means why we go for layer 3? It has some more memory and we can, it can carry more. It's capable of carrying more MAC address, right? For example, these many uh, devices are there, switches are there. So it will have multiple devices connected to this. So it will have all the MAC address. So that's the reason we, we go for a VTP server with a management layer 3 switch which has 6144 of MAC address in a single port. Okay. Anyhow, in a given organization, the server switch VTP uh, will be configured in a layer through switch which has some more memory. Which can, have, can handle more MAC address. Okay. You can see, if it is configured in a VTP, it will send the uh, I mean, database, VLAN database to all the switches. If I configure only in VTP server, it will send VLAN details to all the switches if it is a client. Okay, but I can't configure anything in client switches. If I configure in server switch, it will send VLAN details to all other switches. Understood? If it has thousand switches, why I want to configure for thousand? If the, if I configure in one switch, it will send to all the switches. Fine. Okay, another thing. For example, if it is in production environment, company is working already. It's not a new one. We have thousands of switch. For example, if I am adding a new switch, what the main thing I want to do is like, the, the, it won't have anything. Switch won't have, if you add a new switch, it won't have anything, right? So for that, what I want to do is like, first I want to, before connecting to the network, I want to configure the switch as a client. If it is configured to the server, what happens is it will share all the uh, uh, VLANs configured because it's no, it won't have any VLANs. It will share to all these things as no VLAN. So what happened? All the data simply collapsed. So that's the reason we need to change the VTP type. Then we need to install the switch. Understood? This is also an interview question because I did it. Okay. This type already we saw. Okay. So next is like so VTP summary step. So how it works? So VTP VTP pruning. Okay, I will tell you that VTP pruning, how it works and all. Uh, VTP pruning. Okay, I will tell you. Okay, and the initially there is no VTP pruning is configured in the switch, and this is the type. So show interface. Then switch port we are configuring again same thing. Then VTP trunk pruning. Okay, and we this commands we use VLAN add or remove. These things we do. Next is we show VTP counter. Okay, what are the VTP is there? We can see and VTP a clear VTP counter. This is all option. Okay, we store only is an optional. Okay, and next, so this how we configure VTP. Okay, configure terminal. This feature is VTP. It's not required now. Then VTP domain name. It's an accounting. We can give one as name as an accounting. Then VTP version two. This also version. VTP mode. Con transparent we configure here as a transparent means we can configure internally and we can forward but I can't receive okay exit then switch okay so uh, these are these are the troubleshooting of a VLAN so show VLAN show interface switch port or status show interface trunk if it is a trunk port we can see what are the trunk ports configured so show VTP status show VTP password and a uh, uh, few things are there in VTP if it, we are configuring VTP, both the switch need to have a same domain first of all. Okay, and uh, and because sometimes the issue will be like uh, domain should be same. There is something called revision number should be same, and uh, VTP password should be same. Uh, something uh, with that's in it that comes in troubleshooting. It's in a CCNP question I'm telling. So these are very much important. Uh, that's what I said three things, right? First of all, revision number revision. and uh, VTP domain and VTP password. password. And I forgot the other one. I will tell you that one as well. Okay. That's it. As VLAN and VTP is done, we go for a practical now. Okay. Okay. We'll uh, we start the practical. So we'll open. Let's see the lab.
ಇದನ್ನ ಅದರ ಆಪ್ನಾವಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಆಬ್ ಯು ಗನ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ VTP uh, what is vlan and all it's very easy actually okay uh, okay so you can see uh, the switch is wait uh, let me here you can see you can see cisco packet tracer right guys yes, joined yeah. online so i configure a switch example it's a lay to switch uh, right? not visible sir okay so what i am doing is like for example i am telling you one two i am not adding router here it's a layer two what we are doing is layer two okay okay so, okay i added this so what i am doing to do is i am configuring one by one first of all i connect these three switches then from here to here one two three okay from one two actually forgot to mention one topic there is something called inter vlan routing so we'll see that tomorrow okay i need to have take mouse so at the same time we'll uh, do stp as well okay you can see guys i i configured this way. this is an organization you can consider for example this system is used by hsa okay uh, what is it you see my device huh you can see this is an hr okay for example hr it has an ip address of hr hr1 you can tell hr1 okay for one hr okay 0.0.1 okay and same thing copy and again here means hr2 we have a ip of 2 okay for example here have an Uh, not a chat you can take this a finance okay finance four you can take okay uh, here we can take same finance next to as an ip of 5 okay i'm here what i can do is like uh, same i can make as a 10 okay control d copy take this and level okay what is straight to so what happened is this are on the same network okay what happened is hr everyone now what i can do is like first of all i want to configure the devices that's it okay 
guy who came here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here I can see I am configuring this with an IP. Okay, what is IP for this? 10.0.0.1. Okay, so go for subnet gateway is not required, router we are not using, right? So, uh, for example, I give on this one. Okay, I am closing this and give 10.4. here 10.4 right same again here what is the 10 dot 10 right 0 dot 0 dot 10 Ten dot two, okay. Okay, so it's a ten dot two. This one is five. Okay, eleven. Okay, this is eleven. Okay. So, close it. This is five. Last one is five. the same network so what happened is this all will communicate example i can show you uh, i am doing a ping from here ping ping dot zero dot zero dot two is there right it's pinging okay means we have mac address you can see four it's pinging Okay, five. Ten. It's pinging. Ten. Eleven. It's pinging. It means now it is same network. It's pinging with everyone. But as a hatcher, I want to access only the hatcher. Okay, it means it is a one right. I want to access only one. It's an X is two. Two is HS, right? Yes. 10, 11, 4, 5. I don't want to be. Okay, it's not connected with the other departments. So what and that's the reason. Actually, that's what I am dividing. These switches is broadcasting from here to all the ports in the switch and all the ports in the switch. So but it want to send only their data. Uh, for example, this is a VLAN. I for example, if I'm configuring these are VLAN 1. Here in switch VLAN 1, which is there for that switch, that port is configured right so for that port only i want to send my data so this is the same hr example i can i am what i'm doing is i'm doing, going to configure now in the switch for example this is a switch form okay so what i'm going to do you see these ports are came up okay first of all enable same i said right configuration terminal I can change host name first. The switch one, SW one, right? So I can check do show IP interface. If I can see these many ports I have. 
fast ethernet is 24 and gigabit port is two ports i have understood so you can see the four ports are up in switch one okay the first port should be connected and initially you know that first port is connected with then another switch okay i i want to know which port i want to configure you can see which port it is Okay, uh, where is it? FA0. FA. Okay, for this, sorry, sorry. Here you want to check. FA2, it's a 3. It's a 4. Okay, one is this one. Okay, first I want to, I will configure the first access ports. Okay, this down water is, is an access ports. So, uh, interface. Okay, fast Ethernet. What is the port number? 0 slash 2. Okay, before I doing this, I want to uh, tell I have which other VLANs I have. Initially, I can straight away I can configure VLAN. Okay, for example, if you if, if the okay, uh, let's see, uh, show do show VLAN. See, these VLANs are there. By default, VLAN 1 is there. Okay, all the ports are con uh, ports are configured default by default it's in a VLAN number one. Okay, you can see that one uh, dot uh, thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand four are for use some ten technologies. Okay, token ten technology FDDA technology is there, but you can see what are the VLAN types all are in a default VLAN. I want to create a new VLAN first of all. First of all, I want to create three VLANs. One is for management. Sorry, uh, HL. Another is for IT, another is for finance. Okay, so VLAN, for example, I can take VLAN 10. Just VLAN 10. I created VLAN, that's it. VLAN is created now. You can see VLAN 10 is created. It's not active now. Before it's not there, right? Now created. Now I'm doing, I'm creating VLAN 20. It means you can see now VLAN 20 is created. Simple, right? So I want to create VLAN 30. I created it, but it didn't give a name, right? So I want to give name. First of all, you can see VLANs are created. I want to give name for the VLAN. So what I can do is like VLAN 10 name. What a name? VLAN 10 HR. Okay, so if I check here, we run 10 name is changed to HR now. So again, for we run 20, what is the name I can give? Finance. Finance. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Name. name. It's a name finance. Finance. Okay, for we run 30. It's an IT, right? IT. So now you can check. If show VLAN is enough, but you are also already inside a, some interface and all specific configuration. So do show VLAN. You can see now VLAN is greater 10 for HR, finance 20, IT 30. So for example, there is a switch already configured, right? Server. So I can configure, I can save, send this to same VLANs to VLAN, another switch, right? So I, if I made this as a trunk port, what will happen? This, it will send to the other one. So I can do it first, right? right, right sir. Anyhow, created VLANs. VLAN creation is done. Okay. So what I'm going to do now? Interface, fast Ethernet, 0 slash 1. 1. One is a switch reading control says so I want to send this VLANs to second one. So what I'm going to do is like it I am inside an interface which is connected with another switch. So switch port mode trunk. Okay. You can see it is changed to trunk port now. Okay. I want to mention what is the tagging. Switch port trunk. Okay, uh, then encapsulation. Wait, encapsulation. Wait a minute. 
okay mode again mode mode encapsulation why oh, it is not working or what mode wait okay trunk again the mode is showing wait a minute Allowed. This one looks like allowing VLAN. Wait a minute. Allow. Then VLANs. So I am allowing the VLANs. Okay. What are the VLANs I am allowing? Ten, twenty, thirty. No VLANs are allowed. But I want to mention tagging. Wait a minute. Whether it's not working here, I think so. Wait, switch port. We'll do trunk only. Uh, the encapsulation. Wait. Port. Trunk. One it has sent tracking allowed and native, but it should be. What is that one? Wait a minute, guys. And this one we can. See. No, same thing. What I said is same thing, but not why it is not uh, sending the trunk switch port mode encapsulation. It is not mode encapsulation. Encapsulation dot one q, but it's not coming. Encapsulation is not coming. Okay. Wait a minute. We'll see one by one. Okay. Oh, VTP. We'll do VTP configuration as well. Okay. So again, exit. Wait a minute, guys. Everything is done. And one more thing, uh, guys. For example, uh, you are giving access mode, right? In access mode, we will mention. If it is, we can mention voice means it's a voice data. Okay, we'll see that one as well. Wait, but uh, VTP. You can see VTP domain. You can mention, guys. You can see. VTP domain name domain name should be same in both the sites. For example, I'm giving domain name as an example. I'm telling Syed. Okay, something created as a Syed. Same VTP VTP mode. What mode it is? It, it default it's in a server mode. I am giving server for this one. It's you can see device mode is already in a server. Okay. For example, version I want to mention VTP version two. Okay, so I mentioned this one, and again, what I want to do, I did uh, tracking. Also, I did this one uh, version VTP, but I didn't configure for access ports two, three, four. I didn't configure. So I want to configure that one interface fast Ethernet. Zero slash two. Okay. So, but what I can do is like all the three ports are in access. Okay. But different VLANs. For only for access, I can straight away give a range. I can I can give it and do it. So what I do is like I can see all are all right for range fast Ethernet zero slash two hyphen four from two to four. Okay. It will be applied for all. But what I want to I want to give only one uh, command: switch port mode. All this na access. But every every ports will have different VLANs. Okay. So interface fast Ethernet. Interface fast Ethernet. FA is enough. Zero slash two. Okay. Switch port. 
okay mode i given already so again if it is it's an access vlan access vlan 10 port number 2 is in 10 vlan 10 done again 3 it is in which which vlan 20 then port number 4 it's in which vlan 30 now now broadcast domain is divided okay it means the now if you in example if you uh, ping uh, from here to within the switch okay i can see where is it where is it where is it if you ping 4 before it is pinging right if you ping 4 now example 4 it's the same switch right it won't ping it's divided now it's in different department right so it divided now it won't ping but if you configure it same thing i will do that side and you can see then you can come to know what you are doing okay one is configure okay i am writing the configuration done so i am going to the switch 2 where switch 2 Switch to. So if you want, wait, wait, see. This side switch to. Okay, that's this side switch zero. This side. Okay, same thing. I'm doing doing configuration. So same side. Enable. Okay. So what is host name? S W two. Now it is changed. so interface fast ethernet sorry i will give the range first okay we can first we can see whether any vlan is game or not so configuration terminal domain same domain name is already there it means already we got that so what is the command to check the vtp so vtp status to show vtp so you can see it's in a server mode already okay and maximum vlan allowed is supported is 255 here and existing vlan is 8 8 vlans are there okay we'll see what is the vlans because one is there 10 20 30 and other three four vlans are there right four vlans are there so total eight vlans are there and configuration revision number is one okay understood so revision number also same on both the sides now we got the and you can see here you can i forgot it here it's a version 2 okay 1 to 2 and running version is 2 and the side domain name we received we received from as a 2 because both are servers now and i'm changing it to vtp mode server sorry sorry client i am changing it to client in mode we can see it's in a client mode okay and what version version 2 right this is also in a version 2 now so almost same now do show vlan I didn't configure the VLAN, but I received the VLAN. Yes, sir. From server, I received it. Understood? Yes, sir. Without configuring, I received the VLANs. That's why I said we can we can see show VLAN here. Same VLAN. Yes. Sir. Just I want to configure the interface, and you can see I configured VLAN 10 for FA 0 to 2. Here, this side for switch one, and for uh, 20. 03 3004 so it is configured okay and here vlans are there but interface is not yet configured understood so i want to configure the interfaces now uh, vlan is configured no need to configure vlan now understood how vtp works understood interface 
range fast ethernet 0 slash 2 to 4 okay switch port mode for this is an access okay and switch port sorry i want to configure in a single interface every interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 then switch port mode you can see short i can give switch port mode access okay sorry 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 i i want to configure the interim vlan okay switch port then for 3 30 30 because IP is different. Okay. Four. Okay. It's a twenty. Okay. And if you go for one, I need to make it as a trunk. First port. Okay. One side I done. Another side I want to do right. So switch port mode trunk switch port. Trunk okay allowed. What are the VLANs? VLAN 10, 20, 20 30, 30. 30. For example, I forgot to mention one VLAN, it means the other end has the same VLAN, also it won't communicate because in trunk we are allowing only these VLANs. Understood? Okay, For example. 30 no need any, any we can mention any order only the interface we need to configure in a proper way this we can't do it we can see done okay now we allowed vlans okay it means both the side it will start working okay oh, what is another thing okay and one more thing we can see switch port mode access we know right but okay we can go for another switch sorry another interface interface for example interface Fast Ethernet, just I am showing you for voice VLAN. Okay, interface. Okay, switch port mode access. Okay, then switch okay. access. Then voice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Switch port, right? Okay, here voice. Instead of trunk, I can give voice VLAN. For voice sending the voice uh, VLANs, we use voice, then VLAN number. For example, we can create. Example, I didn't configure created any VLANs with the 12, 40, right? Yes. For example, I am giving 40 VLAN. But I didn't create it. But now if you, if you can see after giving this voice VLAN, or not voice, if you give access also, if you give VLAN, it automatically create a VLAN. Okay, you can see show show VLAN. You can see no VLAN is created voice. The reason because the interface is not up. Okay. And you can see. Okay, what is the interface I given? Four. I already is four is there now. That's why it's not showing. Okay, let's see. Wait. For that, okay. For that four, now we have data and voice VLAN. Two are there in a single interface. If you want, means I can show you to show interface description. Okay, wait. So interface description. What? Why it is not coming? Brief. What is it? Uh, it comes actually. Okay, for okay, status. Again. Interface status. You can see what are the VLANs configured. Okay, what are the speed? A duplex and speed you can see here. Okay, duplex will be same I said right. Okay, and it is connected. First one is trunk port. It means it carries all the VLANs. But these two are access three or access port. It has only 10, 30, 20, and all other are by default configured with VLAN one. But these are not connected. Understood? And show running configuration we can see show run run means you can see what are the VLANs allowed so now here in 4 you can see 
for access means it's a data villain so access villain 20 and in access mode and you can see for voice we are getting from 40 understood if we created voice villain 40 then we can get the voice data via villain 40 with no traffic conjunction understood the data and voice won't be mixed have you got it okay this is how we, it's a real time view how we configuring inside inside a company that i show you guys okay understood now now oh, wait a minute i'm i'm getting to this pc okay so if example if i ping 11 it won't ping okay if it's a hr right yes. so if it ping 10 it won't ping okay if it is 4 it won't ping this different department if it is a 3 it won't ping but if you if you, it is like 2 is the same department if you ping 2 it will ping understood for example i can show you another example where is it okay if it, it's a finance which ping what is the ping uh, finance department IP? 10.0.0.5 it will ping okay if you go with the 10 it's not it won't ping even the same switch i have one it won't ping now you understand how the broadcast is working in the switches how vlan is working vlan and vtp is very easy instead of for example if i add another switch i can show you uh, example i can show you right uh, with this here it's a client right it's it won't share it won't we can't create example i can show you clearly if i am creating a it's a server now vtp server for example that's the reason if i created the 40 vlan it's not showing in switch 2 understood if i create also it won't show i change this to server mode then it, it can show the vlan and example and VDP, now we can see show VLAN. How many VLANs are there? Wait, do show VLAN. How many VLANs are there? 10, 20, 30. So, total how many VLANs are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 VLANs are there. 7, 8 VLANs are there. Okay. If you check the VTP status, we can see 8 VLANs. Show VTP. VTP status. Sorry, do show, do show VTP status. You can see VTP status. We can have two revision number we can use. The revision number here is a two and it's a sire. And a VTP domain, VTP mode pruning is disabled by default. Okay, trap generation disabled. And the device MAC address, this is a device MAC address. And when did we configure last? We can see here. And features of VTP, it's in a client mode. These many VLANs are maximum allowed, and we have eight VLANs, and revision number is one. Okay, and the thing what I'm about to mention is domain name should be same. First of all, it's a troubleshooting step. Then here itself we can see domain name should be same, version should be same, and mode should be same. Okay, if it is a uh, if it is a client means it can't send here. We can't create VLAN. Okay, and revision number should be same. Okay, these four are very important. Okay, there will be a troubleshooting. If it is different, then it we get some error and we there won't be any uh, VLAN, VLAN should be shared. I give you another example. You can see I am adding another switch here. Okay, instead before that I go, go to this switch. You can see, guys. See here. Here, again you can see. For example, I am creating VLAN. Okay, before what I do, right? Interface fast in the zero slash five. Okay, switch port. I can change as a mode access mode. Sorry, mode as a access switch port access VLAN. I can create fifty example. It's not exit creating a VLAN. It means what it says accessing vlan does not exist but it creating okay now here itself it created a vlan show vlan oh, sorry do show 
do show vlan if you see oh, sorry yes. do show vlan if you see this 50 vlan is created yes. what are you doing created in a separate way what is created with no name okay again i am creating a new vlan for example you can take a different port 6 switch port mode access for it okay and i am creating a vlan 60 Are there? If you check again, it will be there. By PC also, you can create a VLAN uh, instead of going for it. But name, if you if you want name and all, you want to create in a separate way. And this is in a server mode. You know, show sorry to show VDP. Okay. You can see it is a version number two. It is a sier disabled and server mode. How many ten VLANs are there? Now we get two VLANs, right? And how many co the configuration of this number is three here? Okay. And uh, this now, if we check that one, we can see what is the configuration register number. Change now. Yes, sir. Ten three. The reason is the reason why we created three. We created now two VLANs, two two new VLANs now. Sir. Okay, it's changed now. Okay. Example, I'm create. I am having another taking another switch. Now you can see after the made it to client, it automatically gets a VLAN. For example, if I am having a new switch, new switch, I'm connecting this switch. Okay, before I'm connecting this switch, I'm configuring it. 